Working together sometimes puts a strain on family relationships, but not for the pair of sisters you're about to meet from West Nashville. They claim that working together enhances their artistry, creativity, and sense of humor. Here's Tammy Arinder to meet a couple of ladies who call themselves the Twisted Sisters. When you look around the workshop of Linda Carroll and Debbie Levy, you can find some very unusual things, but unusual in an artistic and decorative way. The Twisted Sisters, who really are sisters, create art lighting, sculptures and fountains by twisting metal and arranging it with other mediums and found treasures. Debbie, who used to be a woodworker, says the pieces are part recycling, part art, and part necessity. Now, necessity is the mother of invention, so both of us have always made things from clothing to things for our home. For So, you know, it's just kind of a natural progression. It's, I guess it's just part of our psyche. It's part of even, what makes us who we are. Yeah, even when we have downtime, I mean, we're always making something, you know, and I'll, I call myself a producer. I mean, since I've been an adult, I've been producing things with these hands. Linda kickstarted the business in 1997 with this sconce, a fancy way to describe a decorative lighting fixture. She was an interior designer and couldn't really find the item that she wanted for a client, so she decided to create one. Everything we've done has taught us how to listen. And so that's what we do. We just listen to what's inside our head and is that scary? Whoa. <laughs> Debbie traded her woodworking tools for a torch, leaving behind the precision of wood and welcoming the freedom of welding and manipulating metals. Woodworking is so precise and so, you know, this and that, and you have to, and, and when I picked up a piece of metal and started working with it, it was like, wow, this yeah. is great, this is fun, I can do whatever I want, and, yeah. and it's so much more freeing. Yes. So yeah, the distor distortion is a pleasure. <laughs> Linda's also quite proficient with a welding torch. These two ladies use the tools that men traditionally use in their workshops, but the result is quite different. There's no reason that that should be a man's thing, other, you know, it's just the way that traditionally it's has been yeah. and perceived. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's not that difficult to pick up a welder. It's whether you desire to work with man's tools. And obviously we aren't doing what most men do with these tools. <laughs> the Twisted Sisters love using copper, steel, and all kinds of metals to make their extraordinarily unique pieces. Debbie is particularly fond of copper. Because of the beautiful uh, colors that it takes on just, by, just from the heating of it, and then you can bend it and manipulate it and shape it, and it's just such a wonderful material. Debbie is making a water fountain. In the end, it will look similar to this one. The combination of copper, hands, and a trumpet gives the fountain a whimsical personality. We really love musical instruments. We've, over the last couple of years, few years, incorporated that into a lot of things we do. We feel like they're works of art in themselves, so we like to show them off. And we're both music lovers as well. And we don't play, but we, we yeah. listen. <laughs> and most of the time, most of the time, they're in that furry case up in somebody's closet, and they're not being appreciated. When you bring them out and show them off, they can look at the instrument itself and say, "Isn't it gorgeous?" But how we put it together and made it a piece of art, I think, it gives people a sense that you're recycling, but you're create, you're, you know, you're giving them something that they can enjoy. Linda loves to create light. By using a clarinet and other obscure objects, she illuminates a room the way no one else can. Ta-da! <laughs> Each piece is one of a kind and can appear somewhat randomly made and unorthodox, but at the same time, it fulfills a purpose. Well, I think it's pretty intentional. I mean, we like to look for things that have a history. And we don't use them as much as we used to, but whatever catches our fancy, I think we both have a very good eye for finding the things that we can incorporate and, and make them a part of the piece and, and, and give them value. 
So why the name Twisted Sisters? Well, sisters, obvious. The other, one of the definitions for twisted, an unexpected change in a process or a departure from a pattern that often produces a distortion. Interesting way to describe their work and personalities. When you use distortion, part of, part of our design concept is not perfection. If it's not just exactly straight, then that's the part we like. We like adding our own personality into what we're doing. So if, if it's, it's a little off, it's a little askew, then I th that's just part of our, our viewpoint, I guess. <laughs> Linda says the greatest reward is just knowing that each fixture or sculpture is a result of their imagination and creativity. It's also a way to recycle and turn things that would ordinarily become trash into someone else's treasure. Whatever it is, it tells us what to do. It's, and it's you can't really a, say what it yeah, is. it's kind of a strange Everybody thing. has that creative force it's, and everybody use it, uses it differently. Whether it's making distinctive lighting or creating a guitar which will never be played but will certainly be music to someone's eyes, the payoff is in the process for the Twisted Sisters. Even every day I'm amazed really that, that we keep being able to do it. We work well together. We're it's a beautiful blessed. thing. We, we, we are, you know, best friends and great co-workers. It just, it just works for us and we, we feel very we are Lucky. very fortunate.